So um, I'm, I've already got a, a, a video up on the website from some time ago, probably about three or four years ago, doing an artificial insemination on a dog. I've got a new way of doing it, and so I haven't shown that on the website, so that's what I'm doing today. It's really a one-man operation, and I think it's a better way of doing it. Certainly not the only way, but that's my new way of doing it. So I've already collected from, actually in this case we're breeding a French Bulldog, um, and this is from one of our Lilac boys, and I've already collected three cc's of sperm-rich fraction. Um, when I collect, I don't collect after it goes clear on me, I stop collecting, because that's we don't need that part of the fraction. So basically collect the sperm rich fraction. I like to add it with about a cc of uh, um, an extender. I think it makes it a bit more, a bit easier for it to travel. Anyway, here's our, here's our stuff ready to go. Um, I'm gloved up and I've got uh, our girl, our patient is ready here. So let's bring it to me over here. So this is uh, um, Lexi. And would you, would you grab me a paper towel? Uh, this is Lexi. Um, Lexi's had a few litters before. And uh, I hope that she'll uh, cooperate with this. Even if she doesn't, um, this, is, this is the great thing about this process, is that I can do this all by myself, even with a dog that wants to wriggle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean her back end out a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to, by the way, it was interesting to see this. This dog is pretty clear. That's normally an indication the dog's ovulated. Not always. She's not really bloody. And I, we already did a progesterone test. We did a progesterone test yesterday, and she was, she was ovulated. And so we're going to do one a little. One, we're going to do one a day early, and then maybe do one a day late. All right. So we, she's got it cleaned off. So here's how we do this. We take her and we put her back legs, and I pinch it like this. Now, the great thing about this is I've got control. That she can decide she wants to wiggle, wiggle around, and she'll stop doing it after a little bit. But I've got her stuck right here. And now I've got her in a position that if I get that straw in her, the first thing is the straw is going to at a great angle and gravity is going to take any of that semen and put it down into her, through her cervix, into her uterus. Okay, and I can keep her like this quite so, especially if I'm just paying a little bit of attention to her, be nice to her, then she'll calm down and be fine. All right, so here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lube myself up a little bit because we don't want this to be uncomfortable for the girl. And I'm going to use her finger here. And I'm just going to stick my finger in. You can see, there goes my finger. Now, people ask me about how do you do this? When I get this into the urethra in the bladder, the answer is this finger goes in towards the anus. It's not like this. And if you put your finger in, it's naturally going to want to follow the canal. It can't go anywhere else. So this is super easy. So I'm in there right now. Right, she's not complaining about this. Now, I'm going to grab this. I like to put a little bit of lube. And I'm using some KY jelly. It could be Vaseline, it could be olive oil or butter. Any kind of a non-spermicidal lubricant would work fine. Fingers in there. I go over the top of the finger. And I'm going to pass this in. You can see, I, want to, I can feel when this goes past my finger, the penis on a French bulldog is probably about that long. I want to get about that much or more into this girl. Okay, here we go. And you can see, I've, I've been mucking around. She doesn't care. Here we go, over the top of my finger. And there it goes, top of my finger. And I can feel I'm already past the tip. I'm going to wiggle around a little bit. Don't want to put much pressure on there and hurt her. I'm just kind of moving around. She's saying, I've had enough. Don't, don't. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> okay, it's all right. So here's the thing about this. Take your time. If she's not liking it, just wait. Nothing's, nothing's heard here. She's not screaming. She's just like, no, not very comfortable. Now, I'm going to quit messing around now because I've taken too long on this already. So here we go. We're in. Fingers in all the way, as far as I can get it. I've got a little bit of air in here. Done. That's it. Now, I've got control of this dog, and I'm going to sit here, and you don't have to watch me for 15 minutes. Tammy, come up close here, and you'll see that when I do this, you'll see that she is kind of squiggling. She, she should be doing some pulsating. You'll see her doing some pulsating as I do this. This normally means that the dog's pretty ready. So, right, now, I'm going to keep my finger in there. I'm going to keep my finger there for 10 minutes. If I take my finger out now, she might have a contraction, squirt everything that I've, we've worked so hard to get inside her out. So I'm going to take my time, and I'm just going to feather what's called feather her, which means I'm just going to rub around on her, on her vulva a little bit, and she'll do some pulsations, and it'll help kind of draw that semen down to where we're trying to go. And uh, that's really the process. I uh, just wanted to show you a different way of doing it. You can do it all by yourself. And you can see I've got complete control and I've got a great angle. So I think I really like this way of doing it. I've done my last 20 inseminations this way. I used to always do it with the dog standing up. 
or over my over my knee. But I think from now onwards, I'm going to start doing this. So um, this is brought to you by MyBreederSupply.com, and this is the home of Shipmate. The best way to ship semen around the world, across the country. If you're not doing it with Shipmate, you should you should be. It'll make a huge difference to your success studying out your dogs, your horses, even your human beings. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.